So you're just going to lay right here? Right here? Okay. I think that's a good spot. People will like that. Okay. Good girl. Good girl, Holly. Good girl. Okay. All right. Welcome to Hort Tip. My name is Jim Putnam. In this video, I'm going to create a small topiary out of this uh, gold mop cypress. Uh, I did a topiary video about a week or so ago uh, with a holly uh, that I had uh, also gotten from a clearance area at Lowe's. I got this gold mop at the same time. It's actually not in too bad a shape. When I first got it, it had a lot of brown in it, but a lot of the brown has fallen out of it. Uh, it wasn't really under all that much stress. I could just plant this in the ground and have a perfectly fine gold mop um, cypress. I've got videos on my channel for gold mop cypress if you want to learn just the details of gold mop cypress. But I thought this one would lend itself well um, to, to being a small topiary, which I just, I'm basically just going to leave foliage up here at the top and then next spring kind of create a, uh, you know, almost a mushroom shape uh, at the top of this. And then I've got a container for this to go in with a couple other things that are actually similar colored. M most of the time I think we think when we're planting um, uh, combos together in a pot, we have to have different, uh, uh, always have to have different um, contrasting foliage colors. Um, but I'm gonna show you um, that, you know, I'm, I'm gonna have three uh, kind of yellowish things uh, in the same container uh, for the winter. So let's get started on this one. The main reason I thought this one was a good candidate is because it's got pretty much a single trunk uh, in the middle of it. Uh, all the other ones that were in the clearance area had were multiple trunk and you can create topiary out of that. You could just make one that looks more like pom-poms with branches coming out and uh, little, little foliage balls uh, on the end of those. Uh, that's pretty common. Uh, but with a single trunk like this, all I really have to do uh, to get started on this is just take the, uh, take the, uh, uh, all, the all the lowest branching off um, from the bottom right here. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of a close up so you can see again i got kind of a single trunk down here and i'm just going to start off by taking you know all this material that's just horizontal right down at the bottom uh, off of it uh, holly has decided to join in on this uh, topiary project today uh, good pair of sharp pruners i said that in the other video the other day uh, it's kind of key really uh, we want to make good clean cuts on this uh, as we're cleaning it up but you can see you know very quickly on something like this where it has a single has a single leader uh, how quick just cleaning up that stem will turn this into something interesting um, I, i've really done nothing here i'm going to go up just a bit higher before i show it again okay right there i mean look how much i'm going to clean these up just a bit a little closer cuts to the stem uh, just like that okay one piece still down here at the bottom. Okay, but I want to show you just already, look how much more interesting uh, this gold mop cypress looks uh, just by having done, done that. Now, you get to decision time. You know, do you, how high do you want to go up here on this thing? I think that I want, of ultimately, I probably want about this much stem to show, to make it look like it was intentionally uh, a topiary and not just a plant that kind of lost some uh, lost some foliage down at the bottom. So I will go up a little bit higher. Uh, and this is a fairly substantial branch uh, right here that I just took off. And another one on the other side. And one more uh, right here. See, this is just me finding, selecting a plant that would work for this application. Again, it's going to be it's not always easy to find one a gold mop like this because they do some top pruning on them. And when they do top pruning on them in the nursery, they end up forcing additional branches at the bottom and uh, kind of take away the opportunity to do this particular uh, application here. Okay, so there's that. I mean, I think <laughs> overall, this isn't bad. The top part up here, I would like to just go through and hold together like this as if you were gonna do, give someone a haircut. You know, we can hold all of this together like this and let's just cut it all a similar length this is not necessarily the time of year when i would be doing a lot of pruning on these things but it's late enough now uh right here at the end of november that it won't force any new growth it's conifer super cold hardy anyway but you see that i basically held all that together and did that and uh that should create a kind of a perfectly round ball 
if I've got a piece sticking out beyond beyond the side here, uh, I'll come, you know, I'll, I'll give that a little bit of a haircut like that. There's one back here in the back, same thing, where it's just out just a little bit beyond the rest of the plant. But I think overall, I like the little bit of lean that it has. It's got a little bit more brown in the middle where they had underwatered it, but uh, which is easy to clean out. And so there you go. I'm gonna put this in a container with a, a couple other plants and I'll show it to you real quick. Of course, Holly was a great help uh, on this uh, little project here. I put this um, gold mop cypress uh, topiary in a uh, square container that's probably, I'm gonna say it's uh, 16 inches across, something like that, maybe not quite 18. Uh, there's a uh, hookerella in here uh, called gold zebra. Really uh, beautiful variegation on this one. Gold edge, kind of a uh, purplish uh, center on it. There's an Everillo Carex in the container, one uh, yellow pansy that I got from my mixed pansies in the front yard. And I just went uh, chartreuse uh, everything uh, in this container. And I think it all looks great together. You don't always have to look for differences in color contrast. You can just go all in on one thing. Uh, and I think it kind of looks great and it'll, it'll pop. I'll put something uh, darker uh, behind it wherever this container sits and that will make this, all of these things stand out more. You're not seeing much of the trunk uh, on this gold mop cypress because I haven't got it limbed up as much as I'd like to. I'm gonna take several more rows uh, of foliage off of this thing uh, in the spring, uh, but I'm gonna leave this much on it for the first winter while it has to sit in this pot. I'm not gonna starve it uh, completely uh, for this first winter. So in the spring, I'm gonna limb this up two or three more inches so I can see more of that and then elevate the height a little bit up at the top. But I think this container's turned out uh, nice. That uh, Everillo Carex uh, is one of my favorites. All of these things are super, super cold hardy. So they're gonna be able to sit outside uh, through the winter without uh, having to uh, worry about them. So thank you very much for uh, watching this uh, topiarying of a uh, gold mop cypress. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for updates on this container in the spring. Thanks for watching.